What's going on, guys? I'm Jay the Studios Gaming here. I'm Michael. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're playing part two of Skyrim. And this is actually where it really starts to get fun, in my opinion. That, like, that was part one. This is part two, bro. Continue from my last save. So if you guys watched part one, basically we were a prisoner. And we made ourselves a citizen of Skyrim. And basically we were about to get uh, killed, but a dragon came and attacked the city. So uh, I got to escape and live. So yeah, that happened. It's not like I was really hoping that uh, my head would get chopped off or anything. Alright, so, uh, let's just talk to what's Hadvar, I think his name is, so just get a recap. Let me talk to you, scrub. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. So that's that. Um... I already marked on the location uh, to go to Riverwood. Current location. Riverwood. Place a marker there. Talk to Alvar in Riverwood. Custom destination. Basically, if we go here. I keep pressing uh, the start button when I, I need to press circle to go to this place. Okay. We are going in the right direction. I think we just need to follow the path. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Join the Imperial Legion. There's something up here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is there? No, there's not. this what's the guardian oh what the Ooh, the thief the major I think that might be like magic or the warrior uh, let's do warrior Okay. Well, that was that. We should be. I'm going to do this a lot, guys. Sorry. Okay, good. Just keep going this way, then we should get to Riverdale. Riverwood. Not Riverdale. Don't know why I said that. I 
I used to have my sword in case that line attacks me. Okay, never mind. No one here now. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. So he's still talking to me, basically. Oh, is this Riverwood? This looks like the same place from the first part. Okay, hold on. My cat wants to get out again. It's annoying. Sorry about that. Chicken, I want to kill you. Uncle Alva, hello. Hadford, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Shh, are you in Uncle, some please. kind of trouble? What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will get your out. I really love and the scenery, like, oh my goodness. Look at the scenery, I love, like, the forest and woods, it's just... Good, good scene. And the music too, I, I love this game in general. Secret, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here, looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen, when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? <laughs> Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Oh. Take the gift. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm obviously going to take that. Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. 
If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Talk to Alvar. Talk to Jarl of White One. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Okay. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Jarl Balgraf, he rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Okay. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Okay, I'm gonna ask him like all these, ah, so you know. I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then... Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Until next time. Did you see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, well, child. I... Don't... Let's do your cousin. Work. You two make yourselves at home. I forgot you can sleep. I know where something good is. I remember I stole something and then they killed me, so I'm gonna try to steal that again. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to sort. I'm gonna read that later. Dude, from here. 
I'd recommend heading to White Run, just down the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to Solitude. All right. Dang it, Jesus. I need to wait until she's not in here so I can take things. Look at that iron sword, like, dude. It's, like, I could steal the iron armor, but if I steal it, they're gonna get me, so. Wait, the hunting bow, I need to take that. But, like I said, I need to wait until they're gone. Take the iron sword and iron dagger. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Sleep for a whole day. Sleep for five hours. I need. Did you really see a dragon? Go away, guys! I need to steal stuff. Do you see any of the steel stuff here? I'm just going to keep sleeping until they go. Keep away. an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Oh, that iron shield. <laughs> Great. Took my bed. Like eight in the morning. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Go away. <laughs> oh my Did god. Did you really see a dragon? Sure. So I could steal stuff. Like, please. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. Go you see that? Make yourself at home. Stay sharp. I'm gonna keep sleeping until Damn, they go away, and I can steal place. stuff. Oh my. You guys can like skip ahead if you guys want. I guess I'm just gonna keep sleeping until I can get that hunting bow. I swear, they're just still down there. Make yourself oh at home. My. What items? No, I don't want to drop it. Dang it.
I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Okay. Damn storm cloak. <sighs> Sorry if this is like boring for you guys. If you don't want to, but you can. Like you can skip ahead. Just. Steal it. I do want to steal. I just don't want to steal it while they're there, because then Stay they get short. pissed and kill me. Can't I basically wait to kill sleep. another boy for boys. How long are you? Make yourself at home. Whatever. Take leave. what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Go around. I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. How long are they going to be down there? What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Please, oh please, let me take the hunting bow. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. How long are you guys going to be down here? Like, jeez. Maybe Make if I talk to them. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Until next time. Did Maybe you really I... see a dragon? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I mean apprentice. Stay sharp. I know you guys don't want to see this, but, you know, like, gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta steal that. No one's up here. Did you really see a dragon? Am I ever gonna take that bow, like... Maybe I just gotta wait at the right time. Let's do all 24.
I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. Did you really see a dragon? Can you guys like go away? Like, Jesus. Can't wait to kill another boy. Freaks boys. Maybe I'm just like, maybe it's like God saying I, I, I like, I can't see them. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is... It's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Maybe they're like on to me, like they know that I'm, that I want to steal it. Okay, I'm gonna sleep for another five hours, and if I can't take it, then oh well. Did you really see okay. a dragon? S screw the hunting bow. I'm just I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. Just take all these. Keep your guard up. Yeah, whatever. I can't. Maybe this need to keep going. And... Okay, I can't. I can't keep trying to do this. Why is, he, why is he carrying a ring? What the heck? I'm so going off the trail. <laughs>
handle yourself well, you could make for a decent shield, brother. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. All right, then. We are in White Run. Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. I forgot I have the book. I'm not going to read all this, it's going to be too long. The city gates is right here. Sounds good. The Banner to Mar, whatever that is. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but okay. Okay, guys, I think that's going to end the video there. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.